Well, it's time to make a picture frame. I got this sweet print from Jess over at Olives and Arrows. I wanted to put it in a simple modern frame. So I got some measurements and headed down to my local Ace Hardware to get a custom piece of glass gut. Thanks, Ace. Next, I picked up some leftover maple stock and was conveniently already flat on one side and at three quarters of an inch thick. So I just squared up the edge on my jointer, then over to the table saw where I cut it down to one half of an inch and then ran those pieces through the table saw. Zip, zip. Perfect. Next, I cut my rabbits on the table saw just because I like it that way. So I set my blade height to one eighth of an inch and the fence at a half of an inch and we just cut those right down. Bing. Bang. Boom. Next, we set the table saw down to 3 8 of an inch, lock it down, bring that blade height up to meet the previous cut, and there we go. We finished our rabbit. Beautiful. Look at those. All right, with the rabbits of our frame cut out, we need to then cut the 45s, pull out our handy dandy miter gauge, and make sure we are as pumped as my son turning on the dust collection, and we start those cuts. This cut does not need to be that accurate as far as where it's out on the piece, because we'll come back and make the final cut here at 10 and a quarter. To get that right on the money, I take my Inkra flat ruler and line up the lines with the teeth and the piece. Make sure you have someone hitting you in the head. And then make sure you set up your stop so that you can have repeatable, nice cuts. Then cut away. Make sure you're doing a little head bob there. All right, time to make sure everything is dry fit. I use the Bessie strap clamps to test out my cuts and get all of these on. This can be a little finicky, but in the end, after messing around with it, you get it nice and squared up. Everything is looking good. My glass fits, so it's time to glue it up. Put a little glue on each of the corners with my finger and then put it back into the straps and clamp it down making sure that all the glue is out of the corners so i can make sure that it's square and then let it dry for the day and i came back the next day cut out my piece of cardboard usually i use something nicer like foam board but this is just for a personal piece and I make sure everything has a nice fit to it, and it does. So, to hold everything in, I use some simple friction stretcher pieces, no idea what they would actually be called, and I cut four cuts with the biscuit joiner. Then I make my strips of wood at the same depth of the biscuit blade, fits nice. Then I take those strips and I cut them down to the length about 1 16th to an eighth over the edge and cut away on the miter saw. Because those biscuits are curved, you can use a friction fit to just slide them right in place and then give it a moderate shake here to make sure everything is nice and snug. And there you have it, a nice modern picture frame. Now go spin it on your table saw. Beautiful.